Speaking of for real, I think the Blackman Blaze, it's safe to say, are for real. And joining us on the Oak Restaurant Hotline is Coach Philip Shad Owens, the head coach for Blackman Oak Restaurant at Exit 110 in Manchester, Expressway Drive, home of the great pizza that they delivered to us here in studio and also the hand-cut steaks. Coach Shad Owens, good win tonight for your Blaze. Thank you. It was a good win. Uh, kids played well tonight. Real proud of them. Was it homecoming? No, it wasn't homecoming. Homecoming was last week. So, uh, wasn't homecoming. We had another, another good crowd, though. Yeah, well, good. Uh, this is an Independence team that was ranked as early as two weeks ago, and uh, they they've got athletes all over the place. How how did you attack? I, I know that you're you, that defensively you had them shut down, especially in the first half. What was the key? What was your game plan for shutting them down? Well, be honest with you. I mean, our game plan on both sides of the ball was to just to be a physically dominant team and and, and make the game make the game just a physical contest and. And we were able to do that. Our defense absolutely shut them down. They had one first down, I believe, one first down in the entire first half. Um, just really got after them, and and really proud of our kids. Just uh, it was a it was a, it was as dominant performance as I've ever been a part of. We're talking to Philip Shad Owens, the head coach for the Blackman Plays. Uh, didn't get a chance to see who your stars were, so I'm just going to pull some some old faithfuls out of the hat. How did Jawan Jennings do tonight? Did great, did a great job leading us on on, uh, on offense. Obviously, played a little defense tonight. We haven't let him play very much, but he played some early. Um, another great night. Uh, I don't know his staff. I don't have that in front of me. Uh, we ran the ball with our tailbacks, Cole Knightgrass, Charlie Davison, both of them very dominant in the running game. Just really got it downhill. Lonnie Killings had to, had a big punt return right off the bat. We uh, we kicked to them to start the game. They go three and out. We return the punt for a, for a touchdown right off the bat and kind of set the tone for the entire game. And but. Uh, just proud of our kids. Our offensive line was dominant. Both of our both of our fronts on both sides of the ball was really dominant tonight, and just physically kind of controlled the game. and And we knew that was the key. And our kids were our kids were excited to play tonight because they're a very athletic team. You know, obviously we got three SEC commitments, and you know, SEC don't offer bad bad football player scholarships. So, uh, so our kids were excited to get to play against a, a real high quality opponent. We've got a little debate going on around here. I've been asking some coaches. Uh, York Institute was talking about a kid that had a high ankle sprain. I never did have a high ankle. Do, do you have a high ankle? Well, I don't have a high ankle. i got two big ankles have high ankles probably. But uh, but uh, I've had some kids with high ankles. I know Sonny Gray, when I, when I was at Smyrna, Sonny had one in sophomore year that was pretty bad. Uh, they had a pretty big high, high ankle. But uh, yeah, that's one of those things that keep you out four or five weeks if you're not careful, if you don't treat it well. Well, it sounds like to me that uh, that God only gave high ankles to to athletes. Maybe is that is that what what we're going to say about all of this? Right. I think it's hard to get a high ankle when you got big old ankles. You know, I think those athletes may get a high ankle, but I'm not sure us uh, us mules don't get them. It's just it's just the thoroughbreds that get those kind of injuries. <laughs> well, from one mule to another mule. <clears throat> I guess that's a horse. Yeehaw. There we go. I, I appreciate you, uh, Philip. Who you got next week? We have LeBarn next week. And to be honest with you, it's already senior night for us. Uh, we only have four home games this this year uh, in the regular season. And so uh, it'll be our fourth one Friday, uh, Friday next Friday night. So it's senior night. And, and uh, so our kids will be excited and uh, play another athletic team. We had a big win tonight. So uh, our kids will be ready to go. And it'll be an exciting night at Blackman High School again. Well, I appreciate you calling in and, and enduring the, uh, the, the barnyard noises. Uh, and uh, good luck in your preparation for Laverne. Uh, you, are, are you going to go into the game healthy? Absolutely. I mean, so far, so far we've been healthy, and uh, we didn't get anybody dinged up tonight. So uh, if we can keep them safe during the, during the week in practice, then, uh, then we will uh, we'll go in next Friday night healthy. All right. Coach, uh, Coach Chad Owens, I appreciate you as always. Uh, good luck, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, thank you. I appreciate it.